And when the need is there, meta world peace delivers. He raffled his 2010 NBA championship ring and raised more than $650,000 for mental health. He spoke to Congress. <laughs> he spoke to Congress in support of the Mental Health in Schools Act. But mental health messages aren't his only passion. He helped distribute more than one million meals to impoverished areas of Kenya and covered the cost of setting up an HIV testing clinic in Nairobi. He sends kids. He says he sends kids from his hometown of Queensbridge, New York to summer camps and pays tuition for them to attend private schools. He also visits community centers, schools, and libraries in low-income areas, talking to young people about the virtues of education and pursuing a life without violence and drugs. As a basketball player, Meta World Peace is known for his defense. As a person, we acknowledge him for his open heart. I am so pleased to present SAMHSA's 2012 Special Recognition Award to Meta World Peace. Thank you, Dr. Sutter. You've been a major part of you know, my, my mission on trying to bring uh, awareness of mental health issues. Uh, one of the reasons why I came to LA, you know, was to uh, not only have fun, because I love to have fun. <laughs> I love to party and love to have fun. But one of the reasons I came to LA because I, I realized the exposure that I can get and bringing uh, awareness of different issues, you know, I can't, I can't do that anywhere else. Five years ago, or maybe six years ago in Sacramento, me and Heidi Bush, uh, we, just, we started Excel University. And uh, we wanted to start to give kids an outlet to receive uh, counseling and therapy, you know, by way of YouTube. Because uh, I was able to pay for my uh, parents in class uh, to become a better parent at the age of 25. I was able to pay for marriage counseling. I was able to pay for anger management and other, uh, and other uh, counseling. But uh, growing up back home in Cleveland, I know kids like myself, uh, they were not able to pay. But we figured coming to LA, uh, we can make this happen. And so I definitely want to thank uh, the Lakers, Dr. Buss, and the subject for bringing me here and uh, helping me continue my mission. I also want to thank the LA County Mental Health Department for uh, partnering with me and Excel University and bringing more awareness. And they did a big campaign uh, this year. It was on the bus stops and it was on the train stations and everything I want to thank. The mental health department. I want to thank Samson. Um, also, want to thank Dr. Sutter, you know, for all, all your support. Uh, I definitely want to say how much I love uh, Shanika Hoswa. I mean, <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, I did come off the bench behind her. <laughs> uh, I was kind of upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> she was, you know, she was, she was the, the star player, the best player. We looked up to her. She pushed me so much, and uh, a lot of things. I knew uh, when her grandma passed away, you know, uh, and I heard all the things that was going on, and people was like, "She niggas going crazy with it." I'm like, "You assholes!" <laughs> you know, only if I knew. Pardon my language. You know, only if I knew what I knew. You know, I knew she was uh, going through a lot at that point, and um, but. It's, that's a, that's a situation where, you know, as long as you show a little support, you know, to your parents, your brothers, or whoever it is, show support instead of, you know, judging, you know, uh, so much. You know, you can help more that way. I'm going to call to say, uh, if Obama and Bill Clinton can recover from smoking weed, <laughs> you know you can recover from anything. <laughs>